Okay, page eight is gonna go this way. So all this, so this would go like so. That's right, okay. So everything's just upside down. That's right. Okay. <clears throat> hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and I'm back, and we're going to continue working on page eight. So I think I've got, I think I'm fairly organized. We'll see. So we're going to start by laying down this eight by eight pattern paper. And we're going to lay it in. It's going to be a little bit shy here, so we're going to add some green polka dots on, on the right-hand side. So we're going to um, install it over to the left. Excuse me. Okay, there we go. And then um, we've got our green polka dots that are going to go left and right. Okay, and I'm going to hold off putting this one down because we're going to put a magnet here. But we can go ahead and trim this out. And I'm going to mark it on the top and bottom just in case this didn't go in completely square as soon as I find my pencil. Here we go. That looks good. My dog came in to see me. Okay. All right, now you'll notice that this is a continuation of this pattern right here. It looks like I didn't get that cut quite right. Um, yes, it is, it's good. So if you can try to make that happen, it just looks a lot nicer. This is from the 12 by 12 pack. Okay, there we go. 
too much glue it needs to move over just a smidge oops there we go okay now we're going to add our little strip and it's on the base there's our hinge There we go. Oh, um, while I was away, I went in, I chose, you already saw this one. I chose this ephemera card to, to be the companion here. So um, we've got the red polka dots here, which pulls our red in. And then this is the backside of one of the ephemera cards. I guess I want to keep that in there so it's, it doesn't flop around. Okay, yay. Then we're gonna hold off here due to a magnet. Okay, now I'm gonna set all this aside. Now for the internal workings, um, we're going to have a couple of different pieces here. I'll try to keep this a little bit more organized than the um, than I did the first time we built it. So you're gonna need um, an eight, eight by seven inch, um, panel that we're going to score in half. So you're going to score it at four. So eight, score at four um, to make a card. Okay, so you're going to need one of those. And then we're going to add a photo mat to that. And this is four by seven, and it's going to get added uh, side by side, just like so. Actually, it's going to get added to the top one. And we're going to add that by using this piece to join them. So this is going to get attached to the card like so. And then this is going to get attached um, to this join uh, mechanism like so. So this three by five piece is going to be attached to the top of the card. Oh, you know what? I might have this wrong. Yeah. Turn it the other way around. Now, same thing, but I had it going to the wrong side. It's going to be just like so. Okay. So again, this is eight by seven scored in half. This is four by seven. And then you have a three by five piece that you're going to use to join them together. Okay. So it's going to look like so. And I have to make sure I'm saying that all right. Yes, I am. So we can go ahead and cover, I'm looking at page one as a cheat. Um, the top of the card is going to have a basically a one inch strip on it, like so. And then this is going to have the mat, a match to it, like so. And I'm hemming and hawing. So this is all going to get attached to the flap in on the main, main page. So we're going to attach. I, do I have that backwards? Attach it. It should get attached here. This is where my magnet should have gone. I'm backwards. I'll figure that out. Um, when we get to it. Okay, back to the back to the drawing board. Okay, so we've got our card and I'm going to go ahead and cover the back side of this and then we can attach these two pieces. So I do know that well we can do this. I found a piece of scrap that I want to use here. It wasn't big enough to cover the whole thing, but this is also the piece that's going to have the the um the attachment to it. Sorry for all the shuffling, it's confusing me too. So let's go ahead and start putting some paper down. That'll help me think a little bit more clearly. Okay. Whoops. 
should hold that in place. Okay, so that's that. <sighs> I did that. I did that wrong. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I thought my bees were upside down. So that's right. Okay. So this is going to get attached here. So let's go ahead and uh, add... Um, some black right here. Most of it's going to be covered. Okay, chomp our corners. Ink. If you built page one, you know this is where I struggled with page one. Okay, so that's done. This is going to get installed. Why am I struggling so much? This is gonna go down. Yeah, like so. So I wanna put this in the middle, so I'm gonna put a, a tick mark here to find my uh, center spot. Okay. Gonna start here and come off. Okay. All right. Oops, that's not right. Okay, it's going to get installed just like so. Boop. We're just going to line up those um, those dots. Okay, I'm going to lay it down and then I'm going to close my flap, which is probably going to push it a little bit away from the, um, the score line, which is what we want it to do, is we want it to rest there. Okay. Now it's done. Burnish that. All right, good luck. Okay, now we're gonna pull the page back in. So this, we can go ahead and glue this down because I, I mixed it up. The magnet actually goes on the other side. Yeah, the magnet's supposed to be on this side. So we'll figure that out in a minute. We can go ahead and put this down. And I'm going to try to go under my green paper, but I'm going to give you um, an alternative as well. In case you can't get under yours. 
Um, or if you make the same mistake I make anyway. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so oh, it goes this way. So this is gonna get it here to the green part here. So the next thing we need to do is add our photo mat. So we're gonna add this here. So I think I did a quarter inch, yeah. We'll set this aside. We're gonna use our grid here and we're going to join these with a quarter inch gap. And it's going to go like so. So actually, we want to cover this first. So what am I doing here? Red and red. Here's my two red pieces. We're going to add this. And then it actually gets glued like that. I keep getting this backwards. Go ahead and cover this. And you can cover front and back. Okay, that's the front. This side is going to be red, so you're going to see the red go back and forth, like so. There's our card so far. The back side is going to have this wonderful stripe, which I love. lovely. Now this side is going to have uh, that little one inch strip that I've got right here. Is that right? Why is this so difficult Daphne? This is going to have This is going to be, this is the one inch strip. It's funny because, I mean, I struggled with the first one, but when I'm trying to do a mirror, it's really throwing me for a loop. So um, I'm actually going, referring back to page one and then trying to reorient it. Um, you're going to probably have to do the same. Pencil marks in there that need to go. Actually, no, I don't because it's going to get glued down. Okay, that's that. Now we're actually ready. I got one too many of those. We're ready to attach this. on the wrong side. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. It's going to go like this. 
Okay. So I'm sorry, you guys. Start over. Okay. Stripes, red, red, red. Okay. Everything's upside down. Sorry. It's like this. Okay. Now this is actually going to get installed just like that. So now we're ready to attach these two. And again, they're going to be a quarter inch. There's going to be a quarter inch gap from here to here. Okay. So I'm trying to get this straight. Okay. And I'm going to use my grid to help me keep track of it. Now we're ready to add it to our album. So this, sorry, I did it prematurely. I do need to add this first. So I'm going to lift it. Sorry, guys. I, I think I made a mistake in the same place on page one. In fact, I'm sure of it. Except for on page one, I had it upside down. <laughs> so it was a different problem, but I still had to remove this. Okay, so it's going to get attached again, but after we add this. And it's going to get attached in the same place. So any, any little damage here is going to be fine. Okay. I was wondering, I was like, I don't think I cut an extra one, and I didn't. Good grief. Even though I built it once before, I'm still really struggling. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so that's done. Now we're ready to add this, and again, same thing. It's going to be a quarter inch. Gotta turn everything right side up again and make sure I'm not messing it up. These two are gonna be attached like so. I don't want to glue it down yet because I'm gonna center it, and um, I'm just not ready to do that yet. And this is going to be attached like that. Is that right? Yep, that's right. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna attach this here, quarter inch part. Oh, I know why I was messing up. Oh, I'm really struggling with this page, guys, sorry. And I just realized I didn't put my magnet in again with the magnets. I think that's right. Let me line that up. Hopefully I covered up all my mistakes on the other side. Looks like it. Okay. Now that these two pieces are joined, <laughs> we can lay the whole thing inside like so. And then basically we want this to be centered between the two pages. Okay. Um, and then once I get my center, 
I'll lift this up and glue this down. So there should be a magnet here and here, and that's what I forgot. That's what I messed up. So there's gonna we're gonna need to add a magnet here, and then on this side. And we can I'm gonna try to get it under my paper, but if I can't, then I'm gonna use an embellishment to hide it. Try to line everything up as well as I can. And so I want it centered left to right, up and down, and this looks pretty darn good. I'm going to put a quick reference line right here. So I know that my glue doesn't go above that line. Then we're going to glue this down. Okay, now the last thing is our magnet situation. So I'm going to see if there's any chance to get under here. Without making too much of a mess. So I'm, I'm right here, so I just need to make sure that it's going to touch the yellow, and it will. I want it toward the edge, just in case I have to use an embellishment. I don't want an embellishment right in the middle of um, my mat, my photo mat. So it looks like I'm going to be able to tuck it in right here. I hope. Oh, there it is. I was a little too low. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to want to push it in with something other than metal. Because <laughs> otherwise you'll just wind up dragging it back out. So let me find something that's relatively thin that's plastic. Oh, let me see. I don't have a lot of choices. Hmm. Well, I'm going to use my fingernail for the moment, and then I'm going to use this really small scissors, and then I'll just hold it in place. But typically, it's going to want to follow your metal back out. Okay, now I'm far enough away from the edge. so I can figure out how to place something here. Now, because this is a heavy page, I do want to put a second magnet. So, and I've mentioned this to before, but I can't express enough what a difference it makes to have this spatula, because I can do things like this, because um, it's so much thinner than any of the pick or weeding tools that come with cut machines. And part of what I'm doing too is I'm looking for, you know, I scribble. And so I'm also trying to find a spot where I'm actually between the glue lines. That helps me a little. Actually, I might actually be able to use this. 
He doesn't want to stick to it. Ideally, it would be something with a U-shape, <laughs> the shape of a magnet. So the other thing you can do too is sometimes using the magnet on the top, you can try to coach the magnet down. That's too thin, it's actually too thin. There we go, this will work. sticking to the, to some glue in there. It's a work, but when we're done, we'll be happy. That we were able to see, that's what I mean by the metal wanting to pull it back out. So let me double check where I've made my gap. Right there. I have it in the right place. I just need to push it in there a little further. I broke my tool. <laughs> I'm so tense. Okay. It's not as far down as I'd like it to be, but I'm afraid if I push any harder, I'm going to damage my paper. So I am going to glue this back down. First, I'm going to ink my edge because once I put glue on it, the ink won't want to stay. So I turned up the paper and there's a little bit of white exposed. There we go. Okay, so that's one down. Oh, I really wish that was going in further. I'm going to try again. Trying to see inside what's going on. What's, what's it getting stuck on? So I'm adding something to my shopping list. What I need is a plastic spatula. That is something that would come in very handy right now. Because then I could put, easily push that magnet in. It wouldn't be following me back out. All right.
All right. There we go. Now, we need to locate these magnets over here. So, we can, in this case, what I'm going to do is um, I'm actually going to put an embellishment. So I'm, I'm showing you two different ways to do it. So what am I going to use as an embellishment? I'm thinking I'm going to fussy cut a flower out of something. So let me see if I can find a flower somewhere or even a stamp. That would be an easy thing to use. I'm looking, yeah, there we go. I'm looking for a sunflower. I'm trying to get a feel for where it's going to land. Right about here. So I'm going to fussy cut this, this out real quick. Yep, that's going to look just fine. I may have to cut some of the, the leaf off because I think it's going to stick out past the panel. So. Okay, so let's go ahead and add adhesive here and, and lay it down so I know where what I'm covering. to the leaf for a few minutes and then lay it down again and see how it's looking. I don't want the um, magnet too close to the edge. I mean the um, leaf too close to the edge or have the leaf be the piece that's trying to cover the magnet because that won't be helpful. Okay, looks good. That looks really good. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit more. So there you have it. I'm going to do the same thing up here, but you don't need to watch me do it now that you know what I've done. So two different ways to mask your magnet. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing up here, um, and I'm probably going to use another uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm struggling with words all of a sudden. Um, sunflower. So let's go ahead and add some tape to the back of this one. And I'm going to check and see if I like the placement, the sunflower up here better than on the bottom. I'll make a choice and then we'll cover up these magnets. So half of it's done by lifting the paper. The other half we, we've uh, masked it with uh, an embellishment. Okay, there we go. So that's 
one option. I don't really like the leaf going down, so I think it's going to go up here, and I'll select another flower for up there. Thanks, everybody. Um, sorry about all the trouble I had on this page. Hopefully, you're patient, and you know you can get it right um, and learn from my mistakes. Okay, I thought we had finished page eight, but I had missed um, the B side on a couple of flaps. So I put that together, and I want to show you what I did for the large inserts. And then these are the two smaller inserts. I pulled in my polka dots again. So on the top and second flaps, I had not put the um, papers on it. So here I'm pulling the green in from the bottom so that we have this nice um, flow with the colors and the color distribution. So I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to put that in. <clears throat> I just completely forgot about it. And when I went to go do the insert, I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> we're not done yet. Okay, and then for the pocket liner, I'm bringing in the black again. And it looks like I could use two with a little more ink. Just on that one edge. Let me make sure I've got this going the right direction, and I do. Wow, I got a little too much glue all the way, didn't I? Okay, and then there's the black again. So we've got black, green, black. Yeah. Try not to be so heavy handed for this one. And then we're just gonna rinse and repeat. Okay, so here is the large insert. So this came from the Patterns and Solids, and I can't remember. This is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. Patterns and Solids, Patterns and Solids, and I think this is, I'm gonna look at the back side, Patterns and Solids also. And then this striped red Patterns and Solids. So I think we're all up to date on that now. Oh, and I want to show you, since we're back here, I'm going to finish this and I'm going to show you how I hid my magnets. Okay, so here is our top insert. This is the bottom or the large insert. There we go. We're gonna close all our flaps and this is gonna hold everything in place, just like so, beautiful. And then there's our large insert and then our narrow insert. 
then I wanted to open this up and show you. So here I cut a flower to match the what was on the on the flip side. So there was a flower here, so I cut one to make it look like a continuation, and these two are fussy cut, and then I added a flower down here and a little tuck spot. So you could easily put a photo um, in like so. And let's see, this is four. This is about four by five and a quarter. So I would do maybe four by five. And um, you'd have a little bit of the flower peeking out and then you'd also have this little tuck spot down here. Okay, so that is finally the end of page eight. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, hopefully you were able to get through this page with me. I know it was very confusing when I was working on the inside parts. So hopefully you were patient and got through this with me. I'll see you guys soon.